Okay, so in this presentation, we're going to look at uh, pairing cryptography and how we can implement a zero knowledge proof. So the application will be written in the Golang and we'll try to see if we can pass information uh, from or prove information from Bob uh, to Alice. Okay, so with with zero knowledge proof, <coughs> what happens is that uh, uh, Peggy, the prover, has a secret, and Victor must verify that Peggy actually knows this secret. So often we pass information such as our password, our date of birth, and so on to be able to prove things. But is it possible to be able to register some knowledge of a value, let's say X here? And then whenever Victor wants, then Victor asks Peggy for some proof that uh, she still knows uh, the secret. Then uh, through this challenge, uh, Peggy creates a, a proof of work to show that, that she still knows the value of, of X. So Victor never has to know what the secret is. All Victor needs to know is that Peggy still knows the uh, the secret. This is called interactive because Victor will prompt uh, Peggy to prove something and might give uh, Peggy a challenge of which she must uh, prove that she knows a secret. We can make it non-interactive in that Peggy, whenever uh, say she wants to register for a service or log in, would pass this proof based on something to Victor and Victor can automatically verify that proof. So the method that we're going to use to be able to implement uh, this zero knowledge proof is what's called pairing cryptography. So with pairing cryptography, what we have is we, if we use elliptic curves, we have two curves, uh, G1 and G2. And we create a pairing between these to create another curve, uh, G, G, T. And it's this mapping here that gives us special uh, properties. So normally we have a point here, let's call that U, and we have another point uh, V on that curve there. The specialness of uh, pairing cryptography is that we have a pairing function. And with this, we take uh, what's uh, our points in, in G1 and our operations, and then our points in G2, and we do a pairing function. And this gives us some special properties that we can actually use. So remember what we have in, in elliptic curve cryptography is we take a point and we add it to itself a number of times. So that becomes X U here. So we take X and add, we take U and then add U X times to give us uh, this point. Every time we add, we get uh, a new point on the elliptic curve. So we can keep checking, but uh, it should always give us a, a new point on the curve. So the properties that we have is that if we have our point and we multiply it by A or add it A times on G1 and if we take uh, B and we take our base point here and uh, multiply it uh, B times and we take that as a function, our pairing function, that is equal to U V, those are the two points there, our base points, to the power of A times B. And that's also equal to uh, A, B, U, V. And we can also do B, U, A, V. So it's the specialness of this operation that allows many powerful operations to, to, to occur within our pairing uh, cryptography and methods. Okay, so to recap, that's our base points here, 
and we operate the pairing between G1 and uh, G2 to give us this uh, pairing uh, result. So how do we do zero knowledge proofs with uh, pairings? Well, what happens is that uh, a Peggy must prove that she knows or she still knows a secret. So let's say that a secret might be that she knows the, uh, the value of x with inside this equation, this quadratic equation. So that's quite easy because that becomes that is equal to zero so that we know that x is seven or x is minus six. So what we want to do is to make sure that uh, uh, Peggy can actually create the proof for the answer of x to that specific quadratic equation. So what we do is we take our uh, our pairing function and we raise it to a power of k in this case and we get a value of 1. So k in this case is equal to 0. So whenever we take our pairing function and raise it to the power of 0 we get 1. It's just like saying that 5 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we'll take our pairing function that we have with the special functions, the properties that we saw before, and we'll take our quadratic equation and we'll raise our pairing function. We can also have g1, g2 there, but in this case I'm just using the same g value. And then we have our that to the power of x squared minus x minus 42 is equal to 1. Obviously this needs to become a 0. Uh, for uh, Peggy to be able to prove uh, that she can answer uh, this. Okay, so because of pairing, if we have e to the uv, uh, a plus b plus c, that is the same as e uv to the power of a, e uv to the power of b, uh, and, and, and so on. So we can take each element and we can raise our pairing to x squared minus x and minus 42. And now it becomes a multiply in between. So we take each pair and multiply them uh, together and we want to get the answer of uh, 1 back because the k to the power of 0, well the k of 0 gives us uh, 1 there. So because uh, we have this rule here, a, b, that can become uh, a, u, and b, b. So the x squared can actually go to here and here. The minus x can actually, the minus 1 can go there. The x can go there. And then the 42 can actually just go in, in there. So all that Peggy has to do is to provide a value of gx. Then Victor will take the pairings and multiply gx and gx to give that value. Then take gx and minus g. Uh, the uh, Victor will know the, what g is or the base point. And then uh, minus 42g in this case, which isn't a difficult uh, calculation or pairing to actually create. So uh, Victor uh, should, should know that. So then we take this pairing, this pairing, and this pairing, and multiply them together. And hopefully, if, uh, if Peggy has provided the right value of x, then we will get a result of 1 or our unity. Okay, so it's this multiplication here. And because uh, in elliptic curve cryptography, we typically use a very large value of x. So the solution obviously is more complex uh, than the one that we've shown here. So it shouldn't be possible 
to determine what the value of x is, uh, even though uh, uh, Peggy is returning back x g. So this is a point on the elliptic curve, and it shouldn't be uh, possible to reverse back what the value of x is for uh, in relation to the base point. Okay, so that's the basic theory be behind uh, zero knowledge proof, and it's used in ZK snarks. Uh, with things like Zcash, where we can actually prove that uh, Bob has enough cryptocurrency in his account without actually revealing all of his transactions. Okay, so let's look at the Golang uh, implementation of this. So we're using the Miracle uh, library here. Uh, Miracle is available uh, on, on a GitHub. Uh, in C, uh, Rust, Java, uh, and so on. But in this case, we're going to use uh, a, a Go Golang because it produces a, an executable file in, in the end. So if you've ever used uh, Golang, uh, you use uh, go get, and then you give the, the URL of the GitHub, and that installs the, the Git code onto your local machine. And then you do go build and then the name of the file uh, dot go and that produces if it's windows a file which you can then uh, execute so in this case we're just going to have a value that we're going to prove and then we'll take a standard format of x squared plus a plus b is equal to zero standard uh, quadratic equation so we'll take the example that uh, we showed before. So it's x squared minus x minus 42. So this should work if we use a value of 7 or minus 6 uh, for that, because that's the solution. And we say that's equal to 0. OK, so in this case, we're, we can pass in the arguments if we want, or we'll take the defaults. So this is the start of our pairing. Uh, we have uh, our g1 curve here this would be the base point on g1 and then our g2 curve that would be the base point on our our g2 uh, curve okay so we're just going to create a few uh, uh, variables for that and then what we're going to do is we're going to work out a few values here depending if it's pluses and minuses so if we have a negative value uh, we can operate on the points that are negative so we make we determine the point and we make it negative if we want to use an operation such as such as this here okay so we'll just run the code from here Okay, so this is the code that we're using here. Uh, we bring in our miracle library and, and a few other uh, ones that that we uh, need here. Okay, then our pairing is here. So this is our x times g one and x times g so x times g one and x times g g one. OK, that's the first part of a pairing, if you remember P1 before. And uh, here it's here. So we can see here uh, that, let's say it's a positive value, then it's x times g1 gives us x g1. And then we'll do it on the g2 curve. Uh, we, we, we convert the integer into a big int uh, from there, and we end up with x g2. If, it's, if, if x is a negative value here then we 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 need to in, uh, make it negative so we, we calculate the the xg1 value by taking the absolute so if we had minus six here then we would take six here map find the xg1 and then make it negative okay so that's the that's how we can deal with the uh, negative numbers there for our x values and we do the same for our a and our b values uh, in there too so there's the first pairing second pairing is to take the value of a and multiply it by uh, g uh, 
xg and we take the g1 point and then we have uh, this point here which is xg times b so uh, here's the example here there's the b and we're taking the g2 point and creating uh, that value there that gives us our second pair and our third pair we'll print those out and then what we do is we we multiply the first pair by the second pair and the result goes back into pair one and then multiply by the third pair and it goes back into uh, pair one and then we'll print it out and see if the value is unity so only when the value is seven or minus six will we get the correct answer okay so we'll run it live and we'll try minus six here and that that works so we've proven that we know the value of x but let's try the value of five and five doesn't work we don't get unity at the end for our pairing and we can see it's not proven so we can try 10 100 say and we see for a value of 100 it's not proven there okay so here's a number of uh, of of examples here so minus three for this uh, that's uh, that be uh, minus that be minus five and plus uh, it'd be minus three and plus five uh, here yeah so x equal to minus three should work so we'll just try that as an equation so it's x squared minus 2x minus 15 and that works we've proven there and there's the there's the value of the pairing request when we multiply this one here should fail because the the roots are uh, a minus three and five if we try four we can see it hasn't actually worked okay so it's so on this way we can actually uh, do our our proofs that uh, Peggy still knows what the value of X uh, is uh, there okay so here's our, our little sample run uh, we can see here uh, that's, that's the value of X is 7 there's our equation and then uh, we should be able to get uh, the proof from them okay so that's been an outline of how we can use a pairing cryptography uh, to create zero knowledge proof as i said we use this in terms of uh, things like zk snark snarks where we can actually prove things without actually revealing what the secrets are